Hello everyone, welcome back to Modern Warfare 3. Last time we left off, um, I was preparing for war against this asshole, because we were going to take back Constantinople, and then maybe give it to these guys, or maybe, maybe capture them too, because, you know, if I take out... The Ottomans couldn't think of the word for a second. If we take them out, and then I just sit in my cities bu up, building up buildings and spaceship parts, that's not very exciting. So, I might destroy that. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing that, but I don't know if it makes a good, fun video, per se. Maybe people don't give a shit, but that's something to think about. Alright, so, hopefully this guy doesn't call out that I'm on his borders. That's going to happen pretty soon. Uh, I don't know how long they've been here. This is like a year later after previously playing, so um, I'm probably a little out of my element here. I also have that in production focus because I really want that. I cannot lose that. I think I lost a building last time, right? Oh, and I renamed my cities. I should have not mentioned this at all. That way, if you were paying attention, you're like, Wow, Brad, I see what you did there with the cities. What a great topical reference. Because, you know, Alexander named cities after him. Like, over 70 of them. I put a... I remember putting an image at the end of one of the videos. I think it was like 70 and like some out of after his horse or something. I don't know what his horse was called. Otherwise, I probably would have named that. But yeah, Alexandria. Not to be confused with Alexandria. Gosh, my, my citizens, every time they go from one place to the other, they're talking to people. They're always confusing the shit out of each other because they're like, Do you mean Alexandria? No, I meant Alexandria. There's a difference here. And then Alexandretta. Uh, and then Alexandropolis, you know, the city of Alex... Zanj? The city of Alex Zanj? I know. I don't, I don't care how it actually translates. And then Alexanderstan, because in a, in a, it's in a desert, and you know, all stand countries, or in this case cities, they obviously have play universal role of being in desert. That's just the way it is. I know that's not true. I don't care. I need to get these guys... Uh... How do I want to do this? You know what? Because I, I don't know. Like, I really don't know how many crossbow guys is okay. It's been a while. Um, This should be gold, Jerry. Also, you may notice... Oh, gosh. You know, it's, it's, it's a little jarring to look back at this and see, like, wow, I'm using vanilla stuff. I have heavily modified... I have heavily modded my game. Like, made my own mod stuff. Um, and then some other people's stuff. But since this was an unmodded playthrough, I can't just change it to a modded... Actually, can I? I don't know if I could. Probably shouldn't mess with that. I don't want to break anything. So yeah, I have a mod on. It's a UI mod. It's the only mod that you can really get in an unmodded game because it's it's installed in, in a way that acts like DLC as opposed to a mod that you enable in the menu. So, you know, I have some mouse cursor thingy-mabobs. Like, oh, hey, if you put a university, it will put blue science bulbs on this. You know, a lighthouse will give food to there. And it does, it just, it does, yeah, you highlight over the city. Green, you're working it. Orange, you're not working it. Oh, I think I'm gonna throw up. Not, no, I'm not actually sick. It's just that I'm absolutely disgusted because I can only work three, three tiles away from the city center, which is something I got rid of with my mods. Like, it's the most important mod that I have. Um, that didn't add anything. That was literally... That was literally useless. Yeah, this might become, actually, it probably won't become mod talk. It's easier to have mod talk when I'm actually looking at the mods in front of me. Um, although I know I can look at a bunch of things like, oh, well, I moved that down there. I'm doing hand gestures towards my monitor. Oh, yeah, I have dual monitors now. I'm all over the place today. But, uh, oh, you know what? I probably should. Nah, I should probably, yeah, I should do military stuff since I'm focusing on military right now. Um, you know what? Fuck it. If this goes bad, I can always retreat, right? Nice to us. Um, yeah. Rip five gold. Alright, buddy. Please tell me this does a lot. That is adequate. Thank you, sir. That is a warrior. Well, he's he can suck my nuts. Alright. Uh, but where do I, I want this guy to come up somewhere. You know what? He can take, it, he can take the extra turn to go in this jungle then. Or a forest when he gets over here. Alright! This city is as good as mine. Well, actually, Outlook isn't too well. Because these swordsmen are kind of pissy. Should have waited. But I'm not patient enough, you see. Oh, okay. I'm okay. I'm Gold Jerry. Uh, well... 
Well, here's the thing. I guess this doesn't really matter. He, well, his city's on open terrain, but cities don't get the damage bonus for open terrain. That's only units. Okay, do that. Yeah, dude, I dare you. I fucking dare you to attack my swordsman. Because I will fuck your shit up. Okay, you go back on hold so that you can get your defense bonus. Watch this be nothing still. Nine? Nine? That's still not good enough. I'm only going to be doing modded stuff now after this game if I do more, which I would like to. You know, I don't know. I even, I would even like to, I would even like to make Civ 5 modding videos. I, I really love modding. I just, to me, I just, I just really like creating stuff, but the problem with that is I like creating a lot of things and too many things. So I have a lot of passion projects, and then what happens is I just have like a hundred things that aren't done as opposed to a few things that get done. You know, like when did I start my, uh, my Fallout 3 companion mod, you know, like in 2014 or some shit, I don't know. Uh, I haven't m messed with that in a long time, which kind of makes me sad, but, you know, it's hard to get the motivation. But all this time, all these years later, I still have everything in my head. Uh, it doesn't go away. Like the voices, they never stop, they never stop, they never stop, they never stop. I need more production. I forgot the... I forgot the... A lot of the buildings suck. Like, when, in my modded game, I gave the constabularies... Should I just call them cons constables? I don't know. Like, even even the game files calls them constables, not constabulary. Uh, but then they call them constabulary in-game, which is kind of weird. But, like, caravansary, I made it give gold by default. One gold. Don't want to give it too much. Don't want it to be better than a market or, you know, the other thing. This gives happiness. The garden gives food. Uh, I mean, why wouldn't it? Well, I think I'll go with uh, the stable because production's good. Science is good. Science is overpowered. Need to worry. You need to rush science. All right. So that gives me a great engineer. Merci beaucoup. That's thank you very much in French, by the way. Yeah, this desert was not a good idea to put here. It really wasn't. But uh, you know, whatever. Um. Okay. So what other wonders can I build? Well, I don't care about any of these wonders. Well, this engineer. It's just gonna sit there for a bit. All right. Oh, oh, shit, there's no tile improvement on this one. Actually, that's fine. Oh, I could take the city right now. Um, but do I want my guy injured as heck? I do not. Well, I mean, he's gonna be injured regardless, but uh, I want these crossbows to have some extra moves after I take the city. Let's see, oh gosh. Oh, he got a great artist, Petra something. Unfortunately, I can't capture those guys right now. That's too bad. She's another great person. Okay, gotta gotta rush those wonders with those engineer things. Um, so anyway, since last time, there actually have been some things that I learned. I don't remember precisely all the new things I learned because it's been a while, and I also don't remember what I shared. But I think one of them is. At the start of the game, don't accept embassies. Don't do it. They'll use that to city spawn you. They'll like... Is that the term? Is it city rushing? City spawn... Whatever. They'll just... They'll use that and like, oh, I put a city in your pocket. And then if you settle your next city near you, they'll complain that you're too close because they wanted to go up your fucking asshole. And that you're the nuisance because you had to scratch. You know, like, what the fuck is that bullshit? The AI is stupid in this game. Really fucking stupid. You can do a market. Money is money is gold, Jerry. Literally. Literally. Yeah, I'll just do that. Alright. Now this weak shit can do that and have like no health. Alright. So what do you have? You have some two of the lamest wonders ever. That's unfortunate, buddy. So can I give this to you? Dumb. Strong economy, huh? Oh yeah, look at this. It also, like, I don't really know how to read this shit that the cursor is showing. Like, you know, the, uh, the friend, the diplomatic status, if you will. I don't really know what I'm looking at. But what I assume is that if it's in green and it doesn't have a number, 
it means I can still do that, maybe? If it has a number, it means I'm doing that, and that's good, and I assume if it's red, then I shouldn't... Wait. No, I don't know what I'm looking at. Why is Declaration of Friendship red? Why would they hate me for declaring friendship? You see what I mean? No idea. Uh, and it says at war with Spain. I guess they're at war with Spain? What the fuck? Why is that red? It's just kind of confusing. Maybe I should read the readme for this mod. I don't know. But I typically I typically don't look at this too much. Um, although it's good to sometimes see their items and, you know, their technologies and whatever at the top. But the green and red shit at the bottom. Fuck out of here. I don't have time for that. Oh, yeah. Let's see if, what I, if I can even do this. Dumb. Die Bertha? Oh my god. What would you give me for Constantinople? You would give me silk and shit. I don't think so. I will give Constantinople back. Guys, I may have made a mistake. Let's pretend that I didn't look at Carthage. Alright. So now that this guy's donezo... Um, hopefully... Okay, so he only has warriors, so... I don't think he has a chance to take the shit back. Alright. So, also, quick tip quickie, I would suggest using a war worker. I'm gonna call it a war worker. A worker to assist you in the matters of war. Pillage a tile for healing, repair it with the worker, and pillage again. You keep fucking going. Well, this guy... Ooh, oh, that's right. I cannot build lumber mills on jungles. Oh, I hate that so much. Okay. You came with my mod, though. <laughs> okay, so you'll go there for no particular reason. Okay. Alexander Graham Bell. Yeah, I should just enslave you in my capital, Alexandria. Do I have any mountain wonders? Do I even have a city near a mountain? I do. Okay, yeah, my capital is. Just put that right there. He can go to sleep. And then when I get a wonder, like Himeji Castle, I don't know if it's already been built. But I'll take it if I can. Oh. Okay, well, you're probably next. Please tell me I can capture this and move back. Okay, good. Um, Because sometimes, sometimes the movement lies to you. It's like, oh, I can move all these tiles. And then you move, like, less than that because you want to pick a particular route or whatever. Um, or you want to check off on something else first. And then all of a sudden... What do you know? I didn't make it that far, game. You told me I'd make it that far, game. Why didn't you tell me the truth, game? So, you can just start the road immediately to Istanbul. Usually, I don't have the roads. Usually, I don't send someone to route that much because sometimes they fuck up with their routes. Like, uh, you know, and typically you think, oh, they'll go in a straight line, which sometimes they do. And then other times, they'll go, I'll go all the way around something. It's just like, okay, thanks, I appreciate that. How much production do you have? 27? That blows. So I should probably keep... I should probably keep the little production tiles that I have left. Because I thought... Do I, do I even have... I, don't, I have one mine in there. Let's work it. That only gave me a little bit more, but whatever. Sure. Because I have a lot, you can have that, buddy. I was about to say fuck no. Alright. And I gotta remember... No more earth maps. Earth map bad. Okay. Alexandria, we need to rush money or production. And for now, I will do money because I'm only at 17 per turn. And you want to have the most gold possible. That way, if you ever go to war, you could buy like 10 units at a time and then just buy all the city-states. That's cool too. Okay, I know what I got to do. After I get this gunpowder, I'll go to navigation. Well, I guess I don't actually have to go that far, but I like to because privateers and frigates are better than caravels in various ways. Um, and then I'll do scientific theory or industrialization or rifling. I don't know. Kind of like how these are split up, though. One, I want to focus on science. The other, production. And I guess military. And then the other one, military. Although in my modded game, I moved Gatling guns to rifling to help uh, split them up a little more. I thought it fit better. You, I guess, are just going to sit there uh, and be useless. Crossbow. He has another city. This fucking trog. All right, so we have gunpowder unlocked. Please tell, okay, good, nobody has it. So this will give me the uh, friendly territory bonus, which uh, isn't that big of a deal, but hey, it helps after the fact, like, you know, when you capture an enemy's cities. 
So that's probably the best reason for, well, I guess not really. I mean, if the Zulus are your neighbor, then it's gonna really come in handy. Because the Zulus are cunts, dude. They're fucking cunts. You can work on a market. I need that shit. Okay, I hate... One of, the th one of my complaints with this mod is it likes to auto-cycle to a new city after I select something. I don't like that. So, let's see. Himeji Castle. Let's move that up there. And stop going over there, please. All right. And I'll do that. Uh, oh, that also provides a free castle. Do I have a castle in the city already? No, I don't have my walls yet. That's fine. Oh, yeah. You know what? Himeji Castle doesn't even apply to all your unit types. Isn't that gay? It's hella gay. It's like the most homosexual thing I can think of right now. Um, I need a road to here soon. Yeah, you know, this city was useless. I should just like, I wish I could burn my own city down. I would burn that fucker down. Okay, how much production do you have? 20? Um, well you already have three mines. Should make you work the third mine. Should make you work, should make you work the third mine. Oh, that's cute. Nah. Hell yeah. So anyway, Himeji Castle. I like, you'd think, oh, it's a castle, so you would expect, you know, you know, ground units like a crossbowman or a gun unit or whatever. You'd expect it to apply to those. But since the, since the wonder does not specify, you would think it works for everything. Well, it works for the boat. Uh, is it just, I think, it might just be the fighter and the bomber. It works for the helicopter, but not fighters and bombers. But yeah, I ended up adding that in my mod. Yeah, welcome to Civ 5 Mod Talk. All right, you can get a market. I'm gonna worry about production later. I also need some more happiness stuff. You know, eight's okay. I mean, it's not great. I wouldn't even consider it good. Um, I would consider, like, 100 plus good. You know, if you're really doing your shit right, but that's more... It might be more of an end game thing. I'm gonna take that and get rid of it. They, uh, they're not allowed to settle or uh, convert my cities or anywhere in my empire. So I need to send food to my capital. Uh... Yes, Alexandria. You know what? I think I need to change the names. Okay. My capital of Sutrix, Tartarus, Manhattan Falls, and Westoria and Salamis. This is went back to what I had it before I changed everything to Alex related meme stuff. All right guys, I've made an executive decision not to get rid of the missionary yet. We're gonna use him as a scout. You know, if he has a unit hiding over here in the shadows and takes it, that's his business. But I have the advantage. Anakin, I have the high ground. Oh yeah, I forgot they also die in enemy territory. Aha, your city is defenseless young Padawan. I don't know why I'm using Star Wars. Damn it, I should have said Star Trek. Also, I forgot. In the right side of the screen, you can see all, all the city-states. There's no more, like... I guess there's not, a, there's not a city list anymore that you can go into and check everyone's thing. They just slapped it here with the mod. Which is sort of a bonus, but also not. In various ways. Um, because when you have icons on the screen, like the bottom right here, like like city updates or golden age status or whatever is going on down here that will tend to get in the way of this other stuff and there's a lot more scrolling involved um but whatever um so yeah you can just see a shield next to everyone if you're if you declare to protect them or whatever um so you don't have to go through a list and keep clicking on them to make sure all right sidon wants this camp taken out Carthage, you're in the way of my camp. Well, not really. I mean, it's sort of out of the way. <sighs> you know what I need? Scree. I need to get that guy over there. I actually... It, it's, a, it's a good habit to have a unit stationed in all your cities for the purposes of barbarians, which is not what I'm doing right now. Yeah, I need to get those boats out as fast as possible. Unfortunately, 1675 is a little late for that. Uh, typically in my games, I want to get astronomy, or even navigation, rather, um, somewhere in the 1000s to 1500s, because that's when you want to start spamming ships to explore the world, because you want to be the first one to discover everyone, you want World Congress hosting, and I'm probably not going to get that because it's late. So, let's do a caravan. I need to send food to all of my cities, every single one of them. Not the puppeted ones. Those ones don't count. 
Oh, oh, great general. Yeah, normally I have a mod. Yeah, so there's a mod for everything now. Uh, normally I have a mod that spawns the general under the unit that earned it, which is sometimes a good thing and sometimes a good thing and other times not. Uh, for example, what might happen is, let's say the enemy attacks your unit and that spawns a general under your unit. Well, if they just killed that unit, you just lost the, uh, you just lost that guy. Oops, I don't want to, I don't want to road. Oh, okay, okay, my guys are good now. I thought it was going to take some more turns. So you can go there, fortify, so that you take less damage. And now, we can start charging in and fuck this day, this guy's day up. That's, uh, that's a forest. I can't attack over that. Oh, well. He'll just be there, and maybe he'll be a target of the city, and that will make it easier for everyone else. Okay. Uh, actually, you can just go there. Maybe I will have my... Yeah, you know what? Let's have these guys move up. That way, my other crossbow can get closer. This guy has a settler. He thinks he's hot shit, doesn't he? All right. I guess, you know, that other crossbowman really wasn't needed for this, huh? But, that's, it, he's going to be used for it. I, I guess I could have just attacked it with both those musket men and got it, but whatever. And one of the things that is a good idea to do, I, I don't really do it a whole lot, uh, is, to, is to pick a city that's going to be your military guy. So let's say this one's closest to the front lines, the frontier, so to say. Then I would start building all my barracks, my armory, my military academy and whatnot. And then that's where I'd build my military wonders, like uh, the Brandenburg Gate for more XP for those units. And then just basically you just stack XP upon XP, and then just build all your military units there. Or I guess you could just be a lamer and just build that shit in every city and it doesn't really matter. But I don't care, I'm kind of too lazy to do that shit. All right, I have decided that I actually don't really need to save this engineer because I don't have my modded wonders. So I'm just going to take Globe Theater. Like, I don't really care for it, but, I mean, the extra culture and stuff is kind of pretty rad. All right, we got it! And it just so happens, this place wanted that. That's a, what a what a coincidence. I love it. Where are you going with that settler, my man? That's not a good idea. What are you doing? I mean, he didn't really have any options in that matter, but... I mean, come on. Also, open terrain bonus works for Ocean. <laughs> It's good information to know. Uh, well, I guess uh, I'll attack the city with my further away guys first. Because I really would like to attack those. Um, yeah, let's just do it with this guy. Yeah, you don't have shit. Burn it down! Alright. Now you... Oh, you're already healing. Okay, let's just go over here to take out the... Ca <gasps> Vancouver wants that. Where is... That's Vancouver. Okay. Okay, I have good progress with them. All right. Now, you can die. Let's see. And you can die. All right. Good doing business with you, buddy. So currently, I only have one spy, which caught me a little off guard. Uh, but we are only in the Renaissance. Actually, in my modded game, I put spies in the medieval era because I'm hot shit like that. Um, and one of the reasons for that was, you know, getting them a little sooner is a little nice. Even though I guess they're meant to be a mid-game thing. But, you know, whatever. There were some building ideas that I wanted to make. Like, uh, I wanted to make a unique... I wanted to make a unique something for Japan that gave a spy reduction bonus. It might have... What was it for? It might have been a constabulary. It might have been that. I don't know. It might have been, like, a, a military production bonus in there, too. Um, and then I wanted to give some, another bonus... Yeah, a French castle that gave a reduction to spy stuff. Um, and, you know, if spies are in the Renaissance, why would I put spy reduction stuff in the medieval era? That doesn't make any sense, you know? Hmm, it's all good. But I also need to work on spy stuff. That's why I was looking at the spy menu to begin with. I'm not going to worry about it in the capital. Um, because if you start putting the spy reduction stuff in the capital, well, you know, okay, it lowers the rating for the capital, but it also increases it for everything else. So... If the capital is the only one with potential, that's where the AI is going to put the spy. But if you have, like, five cities with this max potential, well, fuck, where are they going to put it? They might still put it in the capital, 
I don't know. I don't really know the AI's behavior on where they would put spies. Um, but it's typically in the capital. I don't know if this potential has anything to do with it. Looking at it, I would think so. But I should put something in Westoria to lower that. And then Tartarus. And then Manhattan Falls. Um, also, don't put... Don't put... What is it? The Great Firewall of China. Don't put that in your capital. Put it in a, put it in a secondary city. That's my suggestion. Alright, guys. I noticed I'm going to have navigation in two turns. So... What I should do is, I mean, I would like to do happiness and production, but perhaps I should also work on naval stuff. Yeah, that's what I will do, because I want to start getting those boats out as soon as possible. I mean, a harbor doesn't matter, but the seaport, that builds boats faster, uh, along with you need the harbor to build the seaport. So, oh, and the seaport gets bonuses to these thingy-mabobs, and that reminds me I need another work boat, because that's not improved for some reason. <sighs> Can upgrade you. All right, yeah, I will do that, and then these guys can just start exploring immediately. Okay. And you can get cover, because ranged defense is probably one of the most important things you can get when you're raping cities. Oh, gosh, that guy is right... That camp... That camp is... That, that, that there is right there. Okay. So, that worker is going to be taken. 99% uh, of the time, they're going to take that worker. Um, but this guy, he's just gonna... These guys are just gonna take over... Take over this camp and take a pretty little settler. And these guys can start moving over here because we're going to plan the next invasion. Alright, they have indeed taken my worker and now they will pay. I will send them to the ninth layer of hell where they will be fist fucked by... A fiery stalagmite, perhaps? That sounds good and fun. I'll have to write that down for fan fiction purposes later. Let's see, can I build a caravel in one turn? I can. I guess I'll do that. Sure, I don't really want to, but I will. I will just build more crossbows for my other cities. Oh, Henry Rousseau. That name sounds familiar. Actually, it might just be the last name. Uh, I'm just going to do the Golden Age. Because that's going to give me more production, more culture, and things. Um, I guess, typically, if you're going for a... If you, if you want to go for a culture win, which really should just mean tourism win, I mean, they kind of go hand in hand. Um, awesome. I got a free worker, which would normally be cool, but since I can only work three tiles away, it's not very good. This is probably in range of a city, but we need to discover it, so I don't care if it gets hit once. Uh, you can sit there. I should get a melee unit over in here somewhere, but I'm not too focused on that right now. It's not a priority. All right. Go! No, why would you... Sure, okay, have fun over there then. Alright, so we need a new tech to research. I think I'm gonna go against my better judgment and take industrialization since I'm focused on the warpath. But I really, really want that science. Science is so good... Oh wait, I forgot, I took rationalism. Okay, we're gonna go for architecture first, because I need porcelain tech. Well, I don't need it, but I want it. Um, I don't foresee myself winning a culture victory. Um, without mods? I don't know. We'll see. This camp over here isn't actually over here anymore. But this one is. Uh, I should send more than one unit to get it, but this will have to do for now. So for some reason, this guy doesn't even have units in this bitch. It what is he building, I wonder? Oh, he's... Is he friends with the Byzantines? Is that what that means? Or is does that green because I'm friends with them? That can't be right. No, I'm neutral, so I guess he is. All right, I'm just going to have that worker not move a muscle. Because if he continues to... Okay, Spain. Watch yourself, or you'll be next. No, I'm not going to peace. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, Spain has the Great Wall. Yeah, the, the Great Wall's not fun on my unmodded game, so I don't know if I will be going for them yet. Uh, typically, if someone has a Great Wall... I will wait until I have artillery, uh, which is in dynamite. Uh, that way, I can just snipe the fucker. I don't need to worry about marching all my my archers through slow ass movement and you know everyone else, and then trying to hurt them because then when the yeah it's just a pain in the ass. In my modded game, I actually removed that movement penalty. I thought it was stupid, uh, and I just made it give a wall in every city, which seems a little fitting, I think. All right, well, he's just gonna go there. I'm gonna have these units wait a little bit because I need to start surrounding this place. 